Well, we're walking to the bus station here, the bus loop, so that we can get a bus to the airport and pick up our rental car. Today we're off to Pogradech. So we've already had to get off of one bus and they've loaded us onto another bus. Hopefully our luggage is underneath the bus or we're in trouble, big time. Okay, success on the bus, we made it. Traffic is really busy from the uh, city center of the airport. We're just heading here to, uh, to Hertz to pick up our rental car. Rental cars are all kiosks lined up outside the airport. It's pretty standard in uh, Albania. This is the second time I've rented a car and arrived at the, the pickup and uh, there's nobody in the booth. So uh, they may be out picking up a car, delivering a car, getting a car returned, who knows. Anyway, we'll just uh, stick around and hopefully somebody shows up. All right, so we picked up our rental car and we drove, uh, we drove through Elbasan. The car rental pickup was uh, relatively smooth, maybe 30 minutes uh, in and out and we were on our way. And this is the second time we've rented here. The cars always come with no fuel in them. And I'm sure that regardless of what they're returned with, uh, when you pick them up, they come with no fuel. Uh, the other thing for sure is that uh, when, when cars are brought into Albania, uh, they uh, increase the horn volume and they remove the turn signals because there doesn't seem to be much use for turn signals. You'll find that when you're driving around. Leaving the airport area is very congested almost always. And once you get through the city, you're okay, but uh, driving in the city can be pretty chaotic. And uh, you know, there's lots of lanes being changed with no signals, pretty aggressive driving. I would say in general, from sort of an international standard that the drivers here are not very good. So you certainly have to have your wits about you. Just driving through Elbasan, I mean, there's a, there was an intersection there uh, which is a four-way intersection. It's completely uncontrolled. It has no traffic light. It has no stop signs. Uh, it's just a free-for-all. And uh, I mean, just watching the cars as we're approaching, trying to navigate this. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know. These things are just, uh, they're crazy. But uh, you know, if you're up for some adventure, uh, you know, you just have to be confident and you'll be fine. So our rental car here is this fancy MG. It's a British car, which apparently is made in India or China. The guy wasn't too sure. It's a little SUV. Most of the rental cars here are standard transmission. I would highly recommend when you book that you book the smallest car possible for the luggage that you require. Both times that I've been here, the smallest car that we selected has not been available and we get a free upgrade to the larger sized vehicle. Uh, rental expense is reasonable. Uh, you would want to go through all the paperwork with a fine tooth comb, make sure nothing's missing or filled out incorrectly, and, uh, and you should be good to go. So we stopped at the service station and Sarah was going to have a pee, but she's decided she's not going to. Why don't you want to use the place to pee here? Uh, it is of the hole in the ground variety, and chances are pretty good that if I pee here, I pee on my shoes and we still have a drive ahead of us, so I think I'll hold it for a bit. That's right, outside of the city, now we're looking at holes in the floor for toilets. It's all part of the fun that is Albania. One thing I don't quite get is why Albanians who drive so crazy half the time will be speeding, changing lanes without signals, doing all sorts of stuff but they will bring their car to a screeching halt for a small pothole or any speed bump that's in the road. If you know why the Albanians do that, let me know, because it sure is curious to me. Well, the highway through the mountains is uh, quite nice. You know, once you get out of the city, the roads here are actually really good. This is clearly a massive, massive lake. So now we're here in Pogradets. We're having a little bit of a problem here locating where we're staying. This is uh, something we've experienced before in Albania. Sometimes it can be hard to find uh, what you're looking for. We're in the right area. Uh, we cannot find the actual cafe that we're looking for. Okay, so we're at the right place. We're just uh, waiting for the uh, host's aunt to show up. Anyway, we're just sending some messages back and forward and hopefully somebody shows up. Okay, well, Albania never fails to deliver when you're looking at finding your place. There can be some fun. First, we didn't have any water, but we've got that sorted out. All right, so here we are. Welcome to, Sarah, where are we? Pogradets. Pogradets, Albania. Lake Ored. We're gonna go get something to eat. We're starving.
All right, great. Late lunch, early dinner. Down on the water here. Sarah, what do you think of that food? Delicious. Wasn't it good? That was very good. That's probably the best chofta we've had so far. That was really good. It's a little overcast here this afternoon, but the sun's coming out. I'm gonna go have a little walk around town. Looks like what we have here is the Pogra Dance <laughs> Chess Club. Everybody's playing chess. Well, the hustle and bustle of Tirana is behind us. Oh, except for the car drivers. Well, at least he honked. The hustle and bustle is gone, right? It's a puppet theater. Puppet theater. See, that's how Albanian lessons helped out Sarah because nobody else that spoke English would know that that's a puppet theater from reading that sign. It's just past 7.30 and we're just having a little stroll. Lots of hotels and restaurants and bars, cafes. Oh, here's something we haven't seen in a long time. How about this? A telephone booth. I think the last time I saw a telephone booth was about 25 years ago. There's still some around here. I've seen some in Skodra before as well. I don't know if they're still functioning, but they're here. There's a lot of people walking on the promenade. It's, uh, you know, you can tell this would be, in the, in the summertime, this place would be really be packed. It's cooler than Tirana, quite a bit cooler. This is a pretty sleepy town compared to Tirana, that's for sure. It's low key. Probably not a bad place to come this time of year. 